I wanted to share with you some of the lessons I learned from painting my uh, boat trailer. As you can see, it was yellow, my boat is black, um, so it kind of didn't match. And I decided to paint it black. So first thing, obviously, I took the boat off and I put the trailer on stands. Disassembled the wheels, masked all the lights and whatever lights I could, I took off. I did wash it with uh, water and soap and scrubbed it to make sure I remove all the dirt and grease off of it. I can tell you that from my uh, experience that did not work as I expected and if I would do it again I would probably try to either wash it better or maybe even wash it with some paint uh, thinner or some other um, liquid that uh, can remove the grease better than just uh, water with soap because I did get some points that the paint did not stick. The other thing is that if I would have done it again I would probably wouldn't use a spray can I would do at least the first layer just by a paintbrush it's um, it looks easier to do it with a spray can and that's what I thought but actually you get a very light cover the first coat obviously if you don't want to get any drippings and you'll have to do at least two or three coats to get it right the total trailer I had to use 10 spray cans so originally I thought it would be less but 10 spray cans is what it took and even after I finished I could still find a few spots that you can see the yellow under the paint so I had to kind of go back and, and patch those points. Um, I think if you would do it and use first um, just a brush and get all over it with the black brush I think you'll get better adherence of the paint because the brush kind of mixes the paint with the existing even dirt or contaminants much better and it will make it stick and you will also get a better cover. The second layer you can do is spray paint if you want to get that more uh, smooth cover of the uh, spray paint. Now it looks like that's not too much work when you look at a trailer like that but you'll see I had to crawl under the trailer to get to all the parts beneath it. I did have to get to all the strange part and all the nookies on that trailer. Um, important thing is if you do use a spray paint use a mask and use a protection, um, eye protection because you will get paint all over you and you don't want to breathe this thing especially if you use so much paint in such a short time you definitely want to use um, respirator and don't just breathe this thing because you will end up in the hospital if you breathe that much spray paint in such a short period you can see the rest of the video just to see how much work it was I, I cut a lot of it. it the whole video is six minutes but it actually took me a couple of days to do it I skipped a lot of parts um, and I just added them out but in reality it was a lot of work and it took a few coats just to get it as you can see for example here on the left side you can see the yellow sticking out of the black layer and I had to go over it a few times and I had a few places where the paint start to get kind of a orange peel effect so I had to go back scrub it send it and reapply it um, and that that would I think would be much better it would have been much better if I would have used just a paint and a brush and do it manually and then just cover it with the spray at the end um, if you are using spray paint what you definitely want to do is go very very light on the first coat and let it dry completely for a day and then do the second coat so very very light just to kind of give it a little, a little bit of uh, adherence to the first and still let it show uh, the, the, yellow, let it, the yellow show through the paint and just give it another coat after. As, as you can see here it, you have to get to all the little underbody and all the other spots that you wouldn't think when you just look from the top but when you step away from the trailer you will see that if you don't spray under it you very visually 
see these points once you just take a few steps back especially with something like yellow that's so noticeable uh, with black so you really need to crawl in there and go all these spots so good luck if you do that if you decide to do that and uh, I definitely recommend do it manually don't use spray for the first layer and make sure you clean everything really really good that's the key wash it a few times with soap and then even wipe it down especially places they can have grease the fenders had a lot of grease on them they didn't come off with just the soap um, anything next to the bearing obviously had a lot of grease because it sprays out so these are the problematic parts mostly in where the wheel area is you should wash very and wash very good and scrub it and maybe even use a paint tin or something to clean it and make sure there is no leftover residue no oils or anything like that so good luck